Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-October to mid-November 2021 singles love reading. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. Hopefully you find something that resonates with you. If not, you can check your moon and rising signs. If you need more information on that, there is a link below to astro.com and it will walk you through all of that information. Sorry, my dog just got up on the bed and got a good whiff of the Palo Santo. <laughs> Hopefully he'll lay down. He's got the sneezes. He turned his back to me, so I don't want any part of it. All right, Aries. Um, so, if you are returning here, thank you so much for um, for coming back and for your likes, shares, and subscribes, all your support, all your comments. I appreciate all of you. Um, I really, really enjoy doing this, and I really appreciate the feedback and and um, the information I get. So, let's see. We will start, and if you need any further information, it is in the description below. If you'd like to know the decks of cards I use, if you'd like a, a personal private reading, my website's listed there also. So, please make yourself at home. Um, hmm, let's start out with... Let's just start out. This is singles. This is singles. Sometimes it tells us, all right, this is for Aries for mid-October, mid-November 2021. Sometimes it tells us, uh, you know, if there's somebody significant coming in. Sometimes it's going to just tell you what you need to work on. I want to see if there's any significator cards that want to come out or, or any... Um... Oh, we got Spark. So that's good. We have passion. That's always good. Is that one card? It feels like two. And we have self love. If there's anybody else that wants to play for Aries. And caution. Communications on the bottom of the deck. All right. So the caution I just feel like is you know, just be careful. Don't jump into anything too quick, too soon. Um, don't take a lot of things at face value. If it seems too good to be true, there's a good chance it is. Do your research. Don't blindly trust. Um, we have spark, passion, and self-love, which I love all of that um, for you. Let's see what cards we get. Okay. Nope. We have a lot of hard work going on. You have, um, whoa, no, we're not taking in all those cards. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me turn these. Nope, 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 nope. Let me pull these over the flame a little bit. And clear them a little. All right. Yeah, you're doing you're doing the work. You're doing the hard work. You're putting in the work. Um you've been hurt definitely with the five of pentacles. There we go. Ah. Interesting. Bottom of the deck we have the three pentacles. So this shows working well with others. Um it could be a chance meeting at work with the, the pentacles because it is a work sign. We get some kind of structure going here. How low can I go with this? All right. So we're putting in the hard work. We have the spark card. Um, so that tells me that there's a spark. There's an interest. It could be there could be an interest with somebody. Or could, there could just be an interest with you wanting to seek somebody. That's a possibility too. Um, you know, where you want to... You're ready to delve into something. You're ready to put in the hard work. You're ready to put in what it takes. Let's see. That would be that way and that way. You're ready to put in what it takes. You have that spark. You have that interest. It could be a, an interest in somebody. Or again, could be ready to put yourself back out there, right? Back out in the dating field. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight is a card of power. So it's like taking your power, uh, taking your power back, owning your power, um, coming into your own power, knowing what you will accept and what you won't accept, knowing what you will put into the relationship, what you're will, how hard you're willing to work, basically. Um, you know, if... 
you, you know, this is for singles. So you may have been in a relationship before. You may never have been in a relationship before. So it could be just kind of, you know, since this is a general reading, it could just be where, uh, kind of feeling yourself out to see what you want to do. How hard do you want to work? Relationships are work because you have to keep them going. Um, you can't just find somebody and say, oh, that's it. I don't have to try anymore. You, you know, you have to work at it, but it shouldn't be all consuming. <laughs> it shouldn't be. That's all you do. So it's kind of finding that balance and finding your own personal, um, um, balance to it or your own personal, uh, shoot, what is the word I'm looking for? A rhythm that you want to work with. You have the eight of wands. Again, two eights. So you have power. You're taking your power. This could be where you have sent out messages. You know, if you, you were doing an online dating service, maybe you were having correspondence with some people, especially with this communication on the bottom of the deck. There could be, you know, this could be, um, if you put out communication, if you put out, um, Oh, uh, emails or if you're on dating sites and you, you know, clicked a bunch of people, you could be getting correspondences in. they could be coming in really fast. So they could be, um, uh, not feeding your ego, but they could be giving your, um, self-esteem a boost, which is good. Everybody needs it. You have the death card. It's a card of Scorpio. Um, it's a major arcana card. So it's something to pay attention to. So this is telling me that there's something either consciously or subconsciously that you need to let go of that you may not be ready to let go of or know or aware that you need to let go of. Um, you may still be holding on to a past love. You may still be holding on to a hope of something coming into fruition that may or may never come in. But what this card is telling me is regardless of you know, 20 years from now, if it's going to come into fruition, uh, don't hold out. Don't just wait. Don't, don't, you know, live your life. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. I'm a firm believer that what is yours is not going to go past you. You know, it may, um, we may feel like it skirts past us. Like we almost might have something and then we don't. Uh, and, and, but it can come back around. If it's meant to be yours, it's going to be yours. If someone's meant to be in your life, they're going to be in your life. If they're not, they're not going to be. So this card is just telling me that if you're holding out for a certain person, or if you've, um, hoping for a reconciliation or hoping that they'll come back in your life, let it go. You have to let it go in order for new to come in, in order for you to truly be free and be able to, um, to enjoy the relationship and not come in with a big chip on your shoulder, so to speak. So then we have passion and, you know, you're looking for the passion. You're looking for the love. You're looking for the, the romance and all the things, you know, you want that spark. Again, it goes back to the spark. You want that spark with somebody. You want the passion. You want that, um, that heat, right? Um, uh, so there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting that. Five of Pentacles, again, it goes to self-esteem. It goes to um, how you feel about yourself and what, you know, it's, it's like um, not being seen, not being heard, not being validated. Um, some of it could be your thoughts and your, um, your perception of the situation. And some can be where you're carrying something from your past forward. So again, if you want to start something new, you do have to let go of the past. You do have to see you are worthy of something. You are valid. You are, um, you know, five is a card of change. You are willing to change. You are willing to have that force growth and that adaptability. You're ready to take that on. Uh, Pentacles are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it is grounding earth energy. So it could be something that is very um, primal for you. It could be something that is a trigger for you that you do need to work out in order to move forward. You need to think about, um, um, oh gosh, just say somebody had blonde hair and, and you meet somebody with blonde hair and you immediately go, oh no, no, you know, my ex had blonde hair. I can't do that. Uh, that person with blonde hair is not your ex. So, you know, you have to work out that, 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 uh, memory or that feelings or do some shadow work and really go into, uh, your triggers and work on those in order to, again, be free to move forward. Right. 
these are to me like arrows are shot forth there's no strings attached to them they're just flying in the air so you know it's something you want it's something you sent out but when somebody responds or you you get a potential partner you don't want to say I mean, yes, there's, everybody has their boundaries and everybody has all that, but I, I mean, you don't want to say, well, you have blonde hair and he had blonde hair or she had blonde hair or you had this and she, you know, he had this, you know, don't compare because they're not them. Give them a chance. Let them prove themselves, but be careful. Be careful that you don't fall for, um, the, the sweet and kind, and then somebody will take advantage of you. So get to know somebody is, is basically what I see with that caution. Get to know somebody. You have King of Pentacles here. Again, could be Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be an older person coming in your life. They're very stable. They're very, um, um, they can be very stable in their finances. They could be very good with money. They could be, they they could be somebody that handles money, like a, um, somebody in finances or somebody that is, um, an investor or something like that. Uh, it could be somebody you seek counsel from that is very, very good at what they do. Again, it's a king. It's a leader. It is a person who uh, takes action. Um, it could be something about taking action with finances. This, this card, too, can be a card of a past relationship if they drained your finances. It could be getting back on your feet financially, you know, trying to find your, your financial feet, so to speak, um, with this. Um, then you have the Queen of Swords. So this is beautiful. This is a beautiful card of, uh, you know, not putting up with BS, cutting out what doesn't serve you. Uh, really going within, again, I see that with the death card in that five of pentacles, really going within and feeling that, um, that feeling of what you want, what, what, what you want, but not only that, what is fair, what is truth, what is justice. You know, she's carrying the sword. She's not holding it up, so she's not ready for battle. She looks very contemplative, and she's got the bird on her shoulder, which to me can be, you know, messages, and it can also be wisdom. Um, but she looks very um, in thought. So this could be even thinking of the next move or thinking of um, communication, how to talk to somebody, how to how to approach a situation. Uh, swords are air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's all about, you know, communication and your thoughts and taking action on something. Um, as the king is also, because the king takes action. Uh, and the queen is behind the scenes. It could be, it could be what I see too, is that if you're getting messages from people, um, figuring out how to reply, figuring out how much to tell somebody, figuring out how much is too much on a first date or how much, again, you have that beautiful communication card. Figuring out the best way to communicate. Some people might not be, uh, some people might be long distance. Some people might not be right on your back door. Um, so figuring out the best way to, to make things work or make situations work. Uh, this can also be a person coming in your life that is, you know, uh, it could be female, male. That could be female, male. It's just the, the cards that I read uh, coming in, you know, because that king is a male and that queen is, is a female, but it could be either, or it's just, um, it could be a, a female with strong masculine or, or take charge energies or something like that. And the queen could be a, a male with, with a more feminine side or more in touch with their femininity, which there's nothing wrong with any of it. I'm just trying to let you know that this does not mean that that's a man and that's a woman. Um, I just read it as such, but it does not mean that. So, uh, but this could also be somebody coming in that is no nonsense, that is truthful, that is fair, that is honest, um, that again is contemplating what they want in life, is is trying to see where they want to go, is trying to see their best path forward with a person also. So that's a possibility. Um, and then again, we have the self-love, which I do love, love, the, the self-love, right? We have uh, taking care of you, you know, giving you the love, giving you the roses, giving you the pampered baths and the massages and the spa treatments and the spa day. You know, who doesn't deserve that every now and then? Treat yourself. If you have the money, you have the means, you have the, the, um, the, 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 the time, treat yourself, definitely. Again, this caution to me is meeting people, I think it's more online or people that you might not know that just be ca careful, be cautious, don't ever go by yourself anywhere. Um, 
you know, have, have put a lot of thought into how you're going to meet somebody if that is online, because, you know, we just don't know anymore in this day and age. You have the chariot. This is something moving forward. This is a card of Libra. I'm sorry, it's a card of Cancer. I don't know why I said Libra, but if there's a Libra around, um, by all means, it could be a signal there too. Uh, the chariot is a card of, uh, it's a Cancer energy, and it is card number seven, and that is a card of decision making. So this could be which way to go, where to, which which angle to approach something at, or how to move forward. Chariot's all about movement. It's all about going forward. It's all about being in control, taking the reins, um, going in the direction that you want to go, uh, not being pushed or provoked in, in a way. And again, with that Queen of Swords energy down here, I don't think, I don't think you're going to let that happen. I don't think you're going to be poked, pushed, or provoked. I think you are very much large and in charge, as I say, um, because, um, I don't know if it's because of the death card about, you know, letting something go, a hurt from the past, somebody that you have to let go of. Good gracious, this, these two cards drive me crazy. All right. Then we have the eight of swords again. Eight. Oh, look at this. You have three here. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I picked up an extra card. <laughs> Daggone it. I love it when there's hidden cards and there's not because I thought that card was there too. You're the Eight of Swords. Again, Eight is a card of power. This is not taking control of your power. Um, this card, to me, goes really well with this Caution card. This is telling me to tell you not to let go of your power. Don't relinquish your control. No matter what. No matter who. I don't care if it's Brad Pitt. I don't care if it's... Um, I don't even know these younger people. Um, golly, I don't know. Somebody that you all just would you know, marry in two seconds. These young kids would just, oh yes, definitely. So whoever that is for you, don't do it. I don't care if it's them. Don't do it. Um, that's what this is telling me. Take control of your situation. Don't let them consume your thoughts and be in control of your thoughts and your every move and all your things because, you know, that's not a healthy relationship first and foremost. Um, we all have that, uh, feeling of, you know, that, that, first few months or whatever of that love and oh yes they're perfect and here they are and I can't believe they're here and all the things but don't relinquish your control don't let them consume your thoughts 24 7 don't be blinded by the thoughts or of them and all that they have to offer because once that clears and we see clearly because they do say love is blind you know it might not be exactly what what you thought it was so don't um don't be consumed by their thoughts. Don't be blinded. Listen to the advice of your good friends. Listen to the advice of people that are around you, that know you, that you might work with, that, you know, you've been through the trenches together, so to speak. Listen to them because they know you. And a lot of times we hear stuff, if, especially if we're in a new relationship, and we think, oh, they're just jealous. Or, you know, they want that too. Or, or they, you know, whatever. Some people think that. And no, I mean, I think... These people definitely have your back. They have your greater good in, 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 in hold for them, you know, in, in they're holding that for your greater good. So listen to them. If they're saying, you know, I, I don't like this, this guy or girl or, um, person, you know, I don't like what the, how you're acting around them or you're not yourself around them. Listen to them, listen to them. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is interesting. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is a card. It's a fixed card. So you have Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Leo, and Scorpio energy. And it is fixed. Uh, Wheel of Fortune usually is cyclical. What goes up must come down. Um, and I think that, that could be what that's trying to tell you too. Because that, that high of love, that high of new people, that high of... Um, attention can quickly turn so be careful especially with these two cards together just be very mindful of it don't um don't meet somebody and just think they're the be all end all without really getting to know them because this ca caution card wouldn't have came out in addition to all the other cards right and it's right next to the self-love card so love yourself first don't ever put another person before yourself in in a me in in what I mean is I'm not trying to say be selfish and just think of yourself all the time, 
but when it comes down to your health or your well-being or what you discern what you know is your truth don't let people talk you out of things the swords are all about communication and truth and um you know your thoughts so that's why i'm thinking they have you tied up they have you like um you know you're all consumed by them so that's not a healthy relationship and it can turn the wheel it can turn um where something's in your favor to where something falls out of favor and this is a cyclical card so kind of what what goes up must come down what 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 is up goes down you know what it will come around again so if somebody is not treating you the way somebody should be treating you by all means know that something else will come down the pike there's other people there um don't be blindsided and don't be uh fooled again with that caution card normally i'd say this is great you have two opportunities here there could be two people coming in but you have this caution card there uh with the self-love with the eight of swords with the um you know the chariot again if it's a relationship okay if it's somebody coming in and they what they call love bomb you and they just think everything's great and wonderful and they like are proposing to you on the second date if that's moving too fast no please no Aries you're in control of the reins you can pull the reins back you are in control so no you have that energy and uh, you, that option on energy well you have the energy too but now you have that option to stop it again slow it down if they're not willing to slow it down cut them loose you don't need them um, it's like seeing behind the veil seeing things that are hidden seeing things that um, If you can go into a relationship with that, with eyes open, so to speak, um, and really get to know somebody, there could be a lot of hurt avoided. Again, if they don't treat you right, if they try to push you into something, if, if they try to force you um, into, you know... Um, a commitment really really like in the first time day or two then it's too fast you know they can love bomb you and tell you that you're the greatest and you're they waited their whole life for you in all the words it's actions and words actions and words again you know the the king of pentacles that grounding earth energy that calmness the queen the the truth the communication you know action Action and words, action and words, action and words. Make sure they're both there. Again, people around you to help. Trust your friends. Trust those that know you. Trust those that know you a long, long time. Again, communication. This card, too, can also mean that you're going to hear that there's a possibility a possibility that you hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, something could take you by surprise, or you could get an email or a, a text or something like that from somebody you haven't heard from. Again, don't blindly trust. Don't blindly trust. By no means, don't blindly trust. All right. Let us see what we have. I'll pull one more card for you. Kind of general overall reading. And this is the my new deck I just got. I love it. Love it, love it. It is the dream, Dreamscape Oracle. What do we need to know for Aries Single? Selkie. Interesting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. I can find it. To look in the table of contents. Bear with just one second. And that's something I can't find it. Oh, there it is. 51. Okay. Uh, okay. 
these aren't numbered and they are not in order which is oh well it is what it is it says in scottish myth mythology selkies are shape-shifting creatures who can change from seals to humans by shedding their skin myth says that if a man finds a female selkie's skin discarded skin they can marry the selkie while she is in her human body the man hides the skin trapping her against her true nature oh look what have i been preaching on what have i been preaching on oh i've just got goosebumps uh Never allowing her to return to the sea or her kin. The only way for a selkie to receive her freedom is to find and take back her skin. Male selkies are usually handsome and lure women to them. They are also where we get the myth of the merfolk. Meaning, feeling like your freedom is compromised, there is a loss of self-control. That's what we don't want. That's what I've been preaching this whole time right that eight of swords don't give up your control take back your control don't let somebody control you something can go from very good to very bad really quickly i've got goosebumps big one here is trust your friends they are your friends for a reason they're the people who know you all right good luck to you good luck to you aries good luck to you uh please take care of yourself and each other this month if you have any uh questions please leave them in the comments below or you can email me my emails in the description if you so choose thank you so much for watching have a beautiful blessed month good luck to you um and be careful okay bye for now